day 10 of the freshwater ecosphere. Look who is at the top and is still alive and kicking. Tiny Tim is up there. He is doing well. It seems like he might have grown a very small bit. Um, he seems like he has plenty of food. If you're new here, I'm All Things Marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do. And make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. It's been over a week and there are still mosquito larvae in here. As you can see right there. Also good news guys, Gary is still alive. Gary the snail is still very much alive and kicking. He's doing great. He is still alive as well, as far as I know. There seems to be a lot of plant growth in here, actually. Uh, the fish, I think, is thriving off of that. Um, and the reason why you need plant growth in here is so the surrounding oxygen in here has, or the surrounding water has oxygen because this is a closed, this is closed. There's no holes in this, this is sealed. Uh, so this is creating oxygen for itself using the plants that are in there. I'm not really sure what Gary's doing right now, but he's been moving a little weirdly. Maybe he's break dancing or something. I don't know. Flatworm is moving along. Uh, I don't know if he's eating whatever that is or uh, what he's doing, but he is moving along. I don't know if you guys can see, but there are still a couple of little tiny things in there just moving around. For example, I don't know if you guys can really see here. There's something on that little leaf thing moving around, or it was. The headbanger worm I haven't really seen. He might not be alive anymore, unfortunately. We do have some dead bugs, though. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but there is a worm right there that is moving very weirdly. That guy right there. No, let me focus it a little better. That guy right there, he's not moving anymore now, but he was. There's a couple little things crawling around there. Not really sure what those are. They could be, lar they could be like more mosquito larvae. I believe all of these little lines right here used to be worms, but some of them aren't moving anymore. So I don't know what to do about that. The fish is eating something. Tiny Tim is eating something. It's a little stringy thing. What is that? He's moving now. He is moving very weirdly. Uh, it's kind of creepy. I don't like it. Ugh. So after 10 days, most everything in here is still alive, minus the headbanger and some mosquitoes. But Tiny Tim is still alive. Gary the snail is still alive. Mr. Flatworm is still alive. And there are mosquito larvae still in here. There's at least two or three of them in here I can see. Um, there is one worm that is alive that I did see besides the flatworm. Um, not sure what kind of worm that is, but as you can see, there is quite a bit of plant growth as well. So everything in here seems to be doing pretty well 10 days later. And I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised that this fish, Tiny Tim, has lived as long as he has. But I hope he continues to live. Um, thank you all for watching.